do it, Nova Bird. Good boy. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your girl Sabrina. Welcome back to the wild side and today I'm super excited about our video because we are <laughs> He's super excited too. Today we are talking all about my favorite birds. We are talking all about toucans This is Coolio. Say hi Coolio. <laughs> and he is probably the most friendly animal that I have besides my dog. The Coolio here is an ivory build Arasari, and there are several different types of Arasaris, and they are some of the smallest members of the Toucan family. And this is Tuki Tuki Girl. She is our Toko Toucan, and they are the largest species of Toucan in the world. Now, contrary to popular belief, there's actually many different types of toucans, including some very, very small ones. So a lot of people think that Coolio is a baby toucan, but he's actually full grown. This is as big as he will get. So one of the most important things to know about toucans as pets is that they do suffer from iron storage disease. Now I do follow a feeding guide that was posted by Bird Tricks. It's on their website. If you have not watched any of Bird Tricks videos here on YouTube, highly recommend it. Um, I'm a huge fan and I watch their videos every week. They have a list of fruits and what's the highest in iron, lowest in iron, best to feed a toucan, not best to feed a toucan. So I follow that for our guys. These pellets that are made from a company called Missouri they are also a low iron pellet that the toucans really like and that coupled with distilled water as both their drinking water and their bath water is what prevents them from getting that iron storage disease in captivity. Now one of the other things that I would say is one of the most difficult things about having a toucan as a pet aside from their special diet, special water needs, is that they are very messy to house indoors. So luckily I'm in Florida, we are able to keep our toucans out for most of the year, but because they are fruit eaters, the fruit is sticky and they sling it around and squish it down. So that makes a mess indoors and their metabolism is extremely high. So they do poop a lot and they poop very quickly after they eat and it comes out the same way it goes in so if they eat something blue like blueberries it comes out blue like blueberries if you didn't know blueberries will stain tile floor I found that out the hard way so just something to consider if you are looking at getting a toucan as a pet um, and you live in an area where it's very cold it will be a very messy high maintenance animal to maintain indoors my mommy loves it when you're outside. Uh, toucans do not talk like some of the larger parrots do, but they do have their own set of unique noises and sounds that they use to communicate. So I'll try to capture some of those for you guys as well. <laughs> hey baby. Hey baby. Tiki tiki. Tiki tiki girl. Tiki tiki girl. E sweetheart. E sweetheart. <laughs> sweetheart. Now birds beaks are made of the same thing that our fingernails are, so they are made of keratin and they are always growing just like our fingernails are. So when you see a bird whose beak is kind of peeling and looks like it's coming off in little flaky pieces, that is totally normal. Um, that is just the new beak that is underneath growing in and flaking out the old beak that is on top. So what he's doing here is he's actually crushing that fruit down using his beak to make it smaller and make it easier for him to eat. Now in terms of what toucans I think make the best pets, I would definitely recommend the smaller toucans like the Arasaris over the larger toucans like the Toko and the Keelbuilds. The smaller toucans in my opinion tend to be more social, more personable, and more playful, whereas the larger toucans are kind of hit or miss on whether they're having a good day or a bad day, whether they want to interact with you or don't. What you got, girl? Is that your favorite toy? So 
So you'll see a lot of people that flight train their macaws and bigger parrots. They like to free fly, that kind of a thing. Toucans, not so much. Toucans use flying solely as a means of transportation, a way to get from point A to point B. They are not a bird that flies for leisure. And so it's not something that we really try and teach how to free fly or flight train and anything of that sort. Let's go see the neighbors. Her neighbors across the way are our marmosets. Yes, they are super cute. And no, they do not make good pets. Hi, babies. Now both of our two cans came from my good friend Ryan at the Wildlife Conservation Center over in Tallahassee. I will link his info down below if you ever get to visit his facility. I would highly recommend it. That was where both of our beautiful babies came from. Now I do have to tell you the first time that I ever saw him sunbathe, I immediately picked up the phone and called Ryan and said, what is wrong with my bird? It is the craziest looking thing I've ever seen. And you can probably understand why I went into sheer panic. Yeah. It's a crazy sunbather. Yeah. My <laughs> sweet bird. You ever feel like someone's watching you? He's took a foot. We'll come see you too. Sugarfoot's our newest member of the family. She is a zonkey. So, mama is a donkey and daddy is a zebra. She came home and I no longer had the best legs in the house. Look at those legs. Hi, sweet babies. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, Sparky Sparks. Hey, Sparky Sparks. Ew, you just pooped right next to me. On that note, we're done. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure that you are subscribed. You never know who's gonna show up in next week's video. You ready, Coolio? Let's go get to work. Which means you just sit there and look cute and I do all the work. That's cool. See you guys.